So, as you probably already know, alcohol is one of the most consumed beverages around the world. However, the negative impact of alcohol is not often well understood. There are, of course, the obvious impacts like to your physical health, impaired judgment and coordination, legal problems, relationship problems, financial problems, crime, accidents, and of course, addiction. And the list can go on and on. But one of the negative impacts of excess alcohol consumption that is not well known is how it can affect our brain. One of the things excessive alcohol use can cause is alcoholic dementia. Alcoholic dementia is a type of cognitive impairment caused by excessive alcohol intake over a prolonged period, leading to brain damage, memory loss, and cognitive dysfunction. I'm Terry from TalkSober.com, and today I'm going to discuss alcoholic dementia, its symptoms, causes, treatment, prevention, and what you can do about it right now if you think you're drinking too much. Alcohol-related neurocognitive disorders, ARND, refer to a range of cognitive and behavioral challenges associated with consumption of alcohol, including problems in learning, memory deficits, and difficulties in planning and executing actions. ARND is a broader term that includes alcoholic dementia and other milder cognitive impairments associated with excess alcohol consumption. Although the specific cause of alcoholic dementia is still unknown, research suggests many probable causes, including the toxic effect of ethanol on the brain and the resultant changes in the brain structure and function. So basically, drinking too much for too long. One of the most common symptoms of alcoholic dementia is memory loss. Patients with alcoholic dementia may experience difficulty recalling recent events and information such as names, places, faces, and conversation topics. Kind of like when one has a blackout from drinking too much, but more in a long-term capacity. Additionally, they may suffer from what is known as confabulation, which is when they invent or recall information that's just not true. They may claim to have had a conversation or participate in an activity with someone which never actually occurred. Patients with alcoholic dementia may also struggle with language, particularly in understanding and using abstract concepts and vocabulary. In severe cases, they may not be able to communicate at all. Now, while this may sound scary to you, there is something you can do about this, and I'll get to that soon, but right now, Let's talk about how alcoholic dementia affects one's behavior. Many people with alcoholic dementia will have difficulty with activities like daily living. They have impaired judgment and personality changes. Some patients may also develop mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. And on top of that, the alcohol use itself may exacerbate already existing psychiatric disorders or they may even lead to new ones. For instance, you might drink trying to lessen your anxiety, but the alcohol actually causes more depression as you sit there thinking about all of your problems. And then the anxiety just comes back worse than before. These behavioral, cognitive, and psychological symptoms often affect the patient's daily life and even those around them. The severity of alcoholic dementia symptoms is directly related to the amount and duration of alcohol consumption. Typically, the more a person consumes alcohol, the more likely they are to develop alcoholic dementia. Other risk factors that contribute to alcoholic dementia include age, gender, nutrition, and smoking. Studies indicate that men are more likely to develop alcoholic dementia and the disease is more prevalent in individuals that are over 65 years of age, but cases have been seen at much earlier ages and in both sexes. Additionally, nutrition and smoking play significant roles in the development of alcoholic dementia. Chronic alcohol abuse, it sometimes leads to poor nutrition and the increased risk of smoking, both of which contribute to brain damage over time. There is no specific test that diagnoses alcoholic dementia. Instead, a medical evaluation, including a comprehensive physical exam, neurological tests, image scans, and blood tests, they use all those to assess the patient's cognitive and behavioral symptoms and determine their cause. 
they do imaging scans like uh, MRIs and and CTs. They'll, those are also used to de detect any structural changes in the brain that may have been caused by alcohol use. Sometimes they use blood tests and those will help determine the levels of alcohol consumption markers in the patient's bloodstream. Now, the treatment of alcoholic dementia involves a multidisciplinary approach combining medical and therapeutic interventions. The immediate aim of medical intervention is to manage symptoms and reduce further damage. Therapeutic interventions such as cognitive behavioral therapy and occupational therapy help patients learn new and effective ways of coping with their realities while also focusing on rehabilitation. There are also medications which are used to treat dementia caused by Alzheimer's disease that sometimes help treat the memory loss that's involved with alcoholic dementia patients. Prevention of alcoholic dementia mainly involves reducing or stopping alcohol consumption. Now, if you're concerned about alcoholic dementia, the professionals are gonna tell you moderation is the key. They're gonna say drinking alcohol is in safe amounts can reduce the risk of developing alcohol dementia. They're also gonna say that you can take preventative measures like engaging in cognitive exercises, eating a healthy and balanced diet, and undertaking regular physical activity to promote, to promote overall good health. But let's get real here. If you're concerned about your drinking and whether you're at risk for something like alcoholic dementia, that probably means you already know that you're drinking too much. Maybe it's time to stop drinking alcohol. Now, stopping drinking alcohol, it might seem like a huge change for you. Maybe you think it's gonna be difficult to stop and stay stopped, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, it can be difficult but it doesn't have to be. There's some uncomfortable things you do need to do, like go to a doctor and be honest about your alcohol use, but they're gonna help you sober up safely. And after you've managed to stop safely, you can join a sobriety program. They're gonna help you stay sober. Alcoholic dementia is completely preventable. Don't drink alcohol and it's not gonna happen. For those that are affected, the different treatments, including abstinence, have proved effective in stopping progression and sometimes even reversing many of the symptoms. If you want to learn more about staying sober and living a life where alcohol is no longer an issue, subscribe and check out some of our other videos where we get into much more detail about staying sober from alcohol. And check out the link below at TalkSober.com where we can guide you through our program of sobriety to help you develop a new perspective towards life and alcohol. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the inside.